We really are learning, and I think some of the talks that we'll have today, are uh, the struggle of adjuvant versus salvage radiation therapy for patients with high-risk disease. Um, and, and some of the early data would suggest that early, early salvage therapy is better than late salvage therapy. We've known that. We've known that too late salvage therapy is worse than adjuvant therapy. But we've also learned as we see more and more results with both adjuvant and salvage trials that these treatments come with a complication risk. So to do a better job of predicting who's going to recur, obviously will be important with genetic testing that we're looking at. But then secondly, understanding, okay, when we initiate salvage therapy, at what time? And is adjuvant, in fact, better than salvage? So th those questions, I think, um, we're starting to get more knowledge of and, and a better understanding of and combining any type of radiation therapy with systemic therapy. You know, we have an idea of, of, of and we have randomized trials that show two years of an oral agent to be beneficial. But when you ask radiation oncologists if they actually do that, very, very few actually follow that protocol. So then the question is, well, if you don't follow that, what should we do and what should be done? Um, and I think that everyone feels comfortable that a combination of therapies would be most beneficial in these high-risk patients. Surgery and radiation and systemic therapy, combination of all. Um, I, I think uh, we'll get a better understanding as, as time goes, just as we're looking at the oligometastatic population.